What's up guys, it's Jay, Morning After Kill, and today I got some Gotham City Imposters. This weekend I'm going to bring you some more Minecraft uh, of my Let's Play, and that's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of you guys are really enjoying that, so I want to thank you guys for watching that. And this video, I do want to say uh, a few things about Gotham City Imposters. Uh, number one, Monolith, if you are listening, please... Please listen to these complaints. A lot of them have been addressed on the forums, and a lot of them have been ignored, and I don't know exactly what's happening. But let's start about number one. Is the PC version of this game. I bought this game on PC originally instead of Xbox, and the PC version still five months later after this game come out is inherently broken it has frame rate issues it has lag issues the matchmaking takes forever to get into a lobby uh, I don't know exactly what's wrong with the game I don't know if anybody still even has the game or trying to play it but maybe that's the problem maybe nobody is actually playing the game on the PC and we're all wrong but I honestly do think there is something wrong because every time I try to play it on the PC the uh, you know frame rates really bad it's not a really fun time and I can understand why nobody would want to play it on the PC with these type of problems. So now let's get into number two is that there's matchmaking problems on all the consoles. We've already addressed it on the PC because the PC version, people can't even play it. It's that bad. But, you know, on the Xbox version, you can find matches. It does have a little bit of problems, but the matchmaking does seem kind of messed up. Uh, it will take us in and out of lobbies, in and out of lobbies. Uh, it will reform the lobbies. It will drop the lobbies. It will put us in the lobbies that won't even start. We've actually sat there for 15 minutes having a conversation with a few people we recognized in a lobby and uh, yeah, it was just uh, terrible that this party was locked because it was actually fair teams for once. We had a party of six versus a party of six and we all really wanted to play. We didn't get the match because we couldn't get inside there. So yeah, uh, the matchmaking on all the systems need to be fixed 100%. And you need to stop making DLC until this is fixed because, I mean, DLC is great. I love to see new content. I love to see developers supporting this game. But these problems need to be fixed before we get any new content. We've already had three DLC drops, and it's five months later. These are problems that shouldn't be happening anymore. So let's get to uh, point number three is the random dashboarding. All right. While I'm playing, it happens all the time when we're playing at a party of friends. Uh, we'll just be seeing, you know, one person has left the party. They're gone. Boom. And then the problem with this is, is... All right, if you can't fix the actual random dashboard in party, can you please fix it to where if the party leader does get randomly dashboard, that it doesn't take the whole party with them because now people are left in the lobby with only two other people in the game or three other people, maybe one other person. I've seen it. It's a terrible situation, especially when one person has to go up against six if they even want to play the game because sometimes, you know, people will stay in because the matchmaking is that bad that they'll, you know, deal with a 1v6 just to to get a little bit of game time in and it's uh, terrible that people have to resort to those type of situations and it 100% needs to be fixed now talking about 100% things need to be fixed let's talk about the one last uh, thing that I really want to talk about is the random freezing of the Xbox under no circumstances should a game ever be released retail on uh, that's gonna be you know it's gonna freeze your Xbox that is like a cardinal sin of video gaming if it locks up your system then there is something inherently wrong with the game and uh, a lot of us was talking about it and it only seems to happen when we're playing like an hour or two maybe three hours straight so it does seem like it could be an out of memory issue or something I'm not a coder but it does seem uh, pretty pretty fu funny that it does happen after about an hour or two of game time and I hope the developers actually look into it because, you know, I'm sitting here having a good time. These people are camping in this room. I'm building up my rampage, and I'm just going to go absolutely ham in here with my rampage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take down a couple of these people. Somebody else is going to come in, and then it's just awesome. And then what happens is the game randomly dashboards our party leader. It pulls everybody out. I'm having a real good time. These people are funneling it. Look, we're just popping them down with a shoddy, and then right now the game's just going to go ahead and... Uh, it's going to freeze for somebody on our team, and it's just a terrible situation. It shouldn't have to be happening like this, and it does make the game very stale because just when you're getting into the really good parts of a match and you're having a lot of fun, it just uh, it seems like it's just, it's just something that shouldn't happen. So please, 
uh, monolith. If you're there, you're listening. Fix the game. Uh, fix whatever's wrong with it. I don't know exactly what is wrong with it, but please, instead of having more DLC come out, just fix the game. Uh, look into the matchmaking issues, and at least fix the party system where if it backs one person out, that's uh doesn't take everybody with them. So my name's Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys later.